Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how to model this uh, adaptive family. So uh, I'm going to here. So this is a wall. So it's a uh, it's quite organic shape wall. So it's all vertical, but with all this curve and the different height, the, the curved height as well. So it is created by pig face so i'm going to show you so this is the adaptive family we're going to create today and uh, you will be able to you know, uh, pick the point and change the shape and then click this wall update so you will create a new wall okay so let's start so first let's create a, a generic model adaptive Okay, so uh, depending on how in, in, in here, here I'm going to just place four points, but you can create as many as you like. Okay, so four points make adaptive, so one, two, three, four. Then place point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan of the first point, place it, and then drag this up. And then repeat, drag up, repeat, and the last one. And then we're going to select the first one, create a, a height one. So I'll call it H1. Oops, sorry, I, I, I cancel it. <laughs> oh. Here, okay, so then the second one create a parameter h2 instance, okay, okay. Third, third one h3 instance, okay, okay. And the last one uh, h4 four instance, okay, okay. So now we have select these four points, create spline and oh no hang on sorry wrong one go back so now select one these two points and create a spline okay so in another one and another one and another one um yeah, I think you can do it the other way. So you can one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and use two spline. But uh, I think it should be the same. Let me just and then create form. So we will have this uh, shape. Yeah, I think if you do it that way, so one, two, three, four spline, and one, two, three, three, four spline should be the same. Okay, so this is it, and then we have this face, right? So, and also we have four point with four different height. So now we can create a. Let me just create a project, and I'm going to load this uh, adaptive family in here. So, place this po these points one, two, three, four. Let's go in three view. So. Yep, so one, two, three, four. It looks go it goes to the other direction, but that's fine. I'll just flip it. So now we have this shape and we also have four parameters here. So for example one meter the first point, maybe two meter this point, maybe five meter this point, and then last point. And then if I can create a wall, wall by face, pick, mm, that's it. So we have this wall, All right? So let's do another one. So um, go to the top, CS. So maybe this one go a little bit um, like a circle, maybe. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's quite probably like a, I, I will need more points so but uh, yeah looks like a, um, looks like 
it looks like we need more points to create something uh, more like a circle but uh, okay let's pretend this is a the one the circle and then see yes and this and also be careful if if you if you create this mass for example like uh, something like this and you probably won't be able to create a wall because oops oh <laughs> on, I'll just move this point up about here and let, let, let me try uh, all by face oh, still okay but if 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 you I'll delete this one if you move this point to very close and, and like this and let's say if it still work oh still work good anyway um yeah you 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 can't you won't be able to do it move the point to create a, a mess like like this say you can't do it like that okay so that's it so that's CS I'll create a f another face yep so good yeah once you move the once you change your mass you can always up update the face same if you change the parameter here and then you can just update okay that's it for today um, let me know if you have any question uh, I'll see you next time thank you bye